Okay, this is going to be a quick little video on how to get access to the 4.26 source build and compile it and set it up so you're ready to go. Now this just released as of today, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on it as I'm doing it myself. So the first thing that you need to do to even get access to the build is link your GitHub account to Unreal Engines. Now if you come to this link here that's posted in the description, you will see an option for GitHub. It says my name down there, so I'm just blocking it out even though it's probably displayed somewhere else in this video, but you want to go ahead and hit connect and connect your GitHub account to Unreal Engines. And then once that's done, yeah, just like right there, I think it just showed me it, or showed the name. Anyhow, I'll blur it out. So you can do a quick little read through right here. It just reiterates what I just said, but then you can come over here to GitHub and there should be, yep, go to the Epic Games GitHub. And you will see an option now for Unreal Engine. Click that, go over here to code, and hit download zip. Once it's finished downloading, you will have a compressed document called Unreal Engine Release, and you want to go ahead and extract this. Now, I would recommend you extract this to your desktop or the root of some other drive, and I will explain why shortly once I come back, once it's extracted. Okay. Now that that is finished, you want to open up your Unreal Engine folder that just got extracted. You no longer need the compressed document. Now the reason why I say to do it either in your desktop or at the root directory of some other drive is because I can't remember if it's, it's either setup that fails or generated project. I think it's setup. No, it's probably generate project files that fails because the path is too long. So for example, this has a short path length. And if you had this in your, for example, program files along with the rest of the builds, that path would end up being too long and it would throw an error and stop. So you would have to undo that and do this anyways. So anyways, once that's done being extracted, go ahead and run setup.bat or the shell script. I'm just going to run the setup.bat and this is going to take several minutes as it has to download a bunch of stuff as well and unfortunately my ethernet cable went bad so mine is going to take forever so i will see you back in about a year now once that is finished the console window will close and now you want to go ahead and launch generate project files bat like so and this won't take nearly as long but it will still take a little bit of time once generate project files is finished you will see that you now have a visual studio project so we want to go ahead and move this before we compile to wherever we want to have the engine stored. So in my case, I want it in my C drive, program files, epic games, and stored right here with my other engine builds. Now yours might be on another drive or wherever you want, but do this before you actually do the compile. Okay, now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and rename mine to UE underscore 4.26 underscore source open it up, open up the Visual Studio project. Once Visual Studio is loaded the project, we want to make sure we have development editor set. I accidentally hit F10 to unpause, but make sure it's set to development editor and Win64. Come over here to UE4 in the project, or in the solution explorer, right click, and you want to hit build. Now, depending on your hardware, this will take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour or more, but give it some time. After it builds the 47 or so files, you will see that it goes through and it will have to compile roughly, well, as you can see the amount here. So wait till that to be done. And then UE4 is then compiled. And there's a couple more things that we will have to do after this to make sure everything is set up. So. I will see you once this is done. Okay, now that that's done, we want to go ahead and run it so we can associate the new build with Unreal Engine projects. And after that, there's a couple more things we want to do, but let's go ahead and start with that. So in UE4, well, on the UE4 in the solution, right click, go down to set as startup project, and you will see this change from benchmark tool to UE4. Now click 
local Windows debugger and it will go ahead and launch the engine for the first time and this is going to take a little bit so just it's not going to take nearly as long as they compile but it's still going to take a couple minutes so just sit back and wait okay once everything's done you should be met with this screen and it should have finished compiling shaders once that's good to go go ahead and close it and you are for the most part done aside from building a couple more of these projects so you should now have your source build ignore this one I just downloaded from the launcher while I was doing this and we want to come back into Unreal Engine 4 the solution again scroll down until we find Unreal Light Mass and we want to build this now this is so that you can build lighting if you do not have this then you have the problem of well you'll get a warning or an error and it won't actually build a build the lighting anymore. So go ahead and make sure this is compiled and good to go and I will see you when it's done. Alrighty, now that that's done you can go ahead and look over and see if there's anything else that you think you will be using. So for example in my case I'm gonna be building Unreal Multi-User Server and you know some you might want to build something else in here that you might have to make use of. I see there's something regarding chaos it's up to you but anyways once that's done you are good to go you can go ahead and launch the engine like normal you can associate other projects with it so all we have to do let me just load up a project uh, meh just right click gen or er, switch unreal engine version and we now have the 4.26 source build set right up that we can select you do that, go ahead and compile your project after you switch the engine build, launch it, and everything is good to go just like normal. So, you now have the 4.26 source engine build of Unreal Engine. So, enjoy.